fortunately, we've got enough volunteers to carry on um, doing uh, the lunches, the meals at home, uh, which means that anybody who's been having a meal can continue to have it, and anybody who hasn't can even join in now and just ask for a meal to be delivered. It helps to, uh, you know, a link and um, alleviate isolation. People are missing their chat at the normal lunch club, but at least it gives them contact once a week with somebody else. And uh, so if anybody wants a meal, just let us know. If anybody wants to volunteer and help, we're always um, glad to have other a pair of hands to help us. Well, we've had such a support from the community. Tierna Nog, Alex and Stephen have been excellent. There's been one of them here every single week. And Jack Doyle at Doyle's has, um, every time we have soup, gives us rolls uh, free of charge for uh, the lunch club. Uh, Brian, our butcher, is consistently giving us our meat um, and um, always excellent uh, meat. And we've been extremely fortunate in that we've been um, able to get a grant uh, to uh, buy extra equipment that we've needed, obviously, to keep all the hygiene going. And we've had um, sanitizer, hand sanitizer, and face masks given by Stirling Council as well, which is absolutely superb. And um, over the years, um, the co op has been a great fun source for us with their community fund and we've just applied again to carry on to support us over the next year. So tell me, how did we hear about Lunch Club? Uh, we heard about it through Ray because Ray is one of our customers, one of our regular customers, and so she explained that she needed help and needed assistance with the Lunch Club. Oh, and has it been, have, you, have you enjoyed coming along? Has it been nice to... It's been great. It's been, yeah, really good fun. It's been, yeah, it's nice to be part of the community. So how many are you doing at the moment and how many do you hope to carry on doing meals-wise? Well, meals-wise, we're sending out approximately 30 every Thursday, which is absolutely great. We've got 16 drivers who do it on a, set, a fortnightly basis and um, we've got about 10 uh, additional volunteers who come and help um, uh, cook the meals, uh, prepare them and box them all up safely to deliver them, um, we give them to the drivers, which is absolutely fantastic. And it's just been great the way that the community has, you know, joined together and helping people and helping each other because we all enjoy doing it and we have fun. And that's one of the main things. That's one of the reasons I do it. It gives me contact with other people too, instead of being stuck in my house.